Um, can we still believe in God? Oh, can we still believe in God but not in Jesus? All right. So this one I get a tackle. Um, and as I was praying about trying to figure out how to answer this, um, there's this passage called the Upper Room Discourse where Jesus on the night before he gets arrested or kind of the night he gets arrested, uh, he's meeting with his disciples. And one of them, Philip, asks him, it says here, um, I'll read it's John 14, 8. He says, Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it's enough for us. And Jesus said to him, have I been so long with you, and yet you have not come to know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? And, and right there, Jesus is just talking about, you know, when, um, when God created the earth, it actually, in Genesis, we see that they created it the triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and the, God the Holy Spirit, which we believe are, are one. They created it together, and then, of course, we messed it up and sinned, and then when God decided, hey, I'm gonna send a Savior to once again close this gap between creation and me, he, he chose to send Jesus as a perfect representation of who he was, and of love. And so Jesus is a representation. He's a picture. Uh, he's an example of who God is. But then he goes on, he says in verse 10, do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? These words I say to you, I do not speak on my own initiative, but the Father abiding in me does his work. So it's not just that Jesus is a, this perfect picture of God the Father, but they are one Right? Jesus is God. That's another question that I have people ask me all the time. All right, I believe in God, but, and I believe in Jesus, but is Jesus God? And yes, Jesus is God too. And there's God the Spirit. So Jesus and God are the one, but then even right before this passage in John 14, 6, and this one's, it's a coffee mug verse, right? Jesus says, I am the way, right? Uh, it's, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. And so Jesus is this perfect picture of God. Him and God are one, and he is the way to God. And so the question, can we believe in God but not in Jesus? Uh, we can't, and, and there's multiple layers why we can't, because they both are God, and because Jesus is the way we know God. And I do wanna just say, um, and one last verse, real quick. John 14, 1 says, do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. And that's Jesus. I don't know who asked this or, or really the heart behind it, um, but I would encourage you to go to, to seek God, to pray about this, maybe go seek wise counsel. And what are the things in Jesus that are making you pause or question or or be concerned, because again, if Jesus is God, then that's something that you want to work out, and there are some pictures, usually I hear, I want to believe in Jesus, but not God, because God in the Old Testament can sometimes feel like, all right, that, that guy might be a little bit rough, but they're the same, and so when you work that out, and you see how God has, is love, and he's worked in a loving manner in the Old Testament and New Testament, and God is just and he's carried out that justice in the Old Testament and New Testament. And as you work that out, I believe the Lord will strengthen your walk and your faith. So. Something that uh, really impacted me when I started reading the Bible for the first time in college uh, is where it says that Jesus is the image of the invisible God. Um, so in other words, if you want to know what God is like, look at Jesus. When you see what Jesus is like, that is... He is the image of the invisible God. If you want to see God, Jesus is how you can have a very clear picture of who God is. It really started helping me think about situa what would you, what would God think about this? Well, what would Jesus think about this? Because that's the image of who God is. So that was a really helpful connection for me to understand, oh, Jesus loves people. He has compassion for people. Oh, he actually tells this person off for that issue. You know, like, it really helped me understand God's heart by looking at the image of the invisible God, who is Jesus Christ. So just a little tip. Look at Jesus if you want to know who God is.